Hey everyone, so today I'm on my way to sessions and today I'm gonna learn from a man who was put in handcuffs literally by telling people in the United States of America that you can cure yourself from disease with plant-based whole food nutrition. Seriously, the FDA put him in handcuffs over that. And he's also taught over 800 other people, he said, how to do this with success and including medical doctors, some of which have been murdered, outright assassinated for it by the industry. True story, but today I'm gonna learn from him. Got my notepad in hand, and it's time to get in there. I'm gonna share with you whatever I learn from this man, it's gonna be incredible. Stay tuned, my friends. And so I've decided to just read my notes to you that I took right here, right now. First, a disclaimer. It has to be said because there's a lot of things here that could be liable if I don't have this disclaimer. So what I'm sharing with you is I this is none of this is meant to undermine your doctor or other healthcare professional. I am not giving you any advice on what to do, except I advise you do your own research and do what works for you and be safe and take personal responsibility. I'm simply sharing notes that I took from Don Tolman. Sentimentally, I'm there with him on like everything. Factually, with everything that he said, I haven't independently verified or researched a lot of what he said, but I want you to do that, and that's why I'm purposely waiting to do that, because I don't want you to blindly follow me or Don any more than I want you to blindly follow the pharmaceutical industry or anything for that matter. I want you to be a free-thinking, critical-thinking, independent human being that takes personal responsibility. So that's the disclaimer, and here we go. My notes on Don Tolman's talk, incredible talk. I recommend seeing him, visiting his website, purchasing some of his material. Self-care instead of health care. Learn to be your own doctor. Learn to be your own whole food pharmacist. Self-education. See, there he is. He wants us to be independent, free-thinking people. We've got to get back to self-education. Schools for thousands of years up until the late 1800s were never brick and mortar buildings where kids were forced to go sit in neat little rows and chant and memorize pre-selected answers to stick in blank science exams to get a good grade. Every child is born a natural scholastic genius. Scholar means one who observes out of interest. Children observe out of interest, and it fires their imaginations and creativity, which is everything. And then, all of a sudden, they go sit in a classroom, and they sit, and they chant rep repetitive memorization, and that's not how we learn. We learn when we are sincerely interested in something. 80% of kids lose their creative scholastic genius within three to four years of academic indoctrination of chant memorization curriculums that they have no interest in. BAM! <sighs> okay, getting back on point. Back to the notes. So we have to get back to honoring creativity. When you do what you have a natural desire to do and you're passionate about it, that is one of the most healing things you can do in your entire life. That is, that is to follow that innate inherent passion that gives you pleasure every day. Get tingles from that. Most people are crushed. Their spirit is dead. They went through the whole academic indoctrination graduating from the university of bullshit to get a job, work for 30, 40 years, and then realized, I feel like I wasted my life. But it's never too late. Find your passion, shift, and go forward. Scholar means to observe with interest. Academic means trivia. Are you a master of memorizing trivia? Do you observe with sincere interest? There are states right now that if your child receives a diagnosis of cancer and you don't want to risk death of the child because of chemo and unnecessary surgeries and other things, they can take your baby away from you and you'll never see your baby again. Don Tolman has helped families in these states move out of those states and into a state where that's not forced upon them. Pharmakia means poison. Pharmaceutical means poison makers. You can't even get a patent on a drug unless it's poisonous and toxic to the human body and creates side effects 
so that you can be given more drugs to deal with those side effects that was created by the first drug. Nice, huh? The problem with plant-based whole foods as medicine that Hippocrates and doctors taught are your medicine... Let me start over with that sentence. That sentence. The problem with plant-based whole food as medicine that Hippocrates and doctors taught are your medicine clear up till the late 1800s Pharmacia came, they killed lots of people, they took over and created the healthcare, medical, and pharmaceutical industry. None of this is to offend you. I know this is hard to hear or digest. My hope is it either confirms what you already know or gives you something simple and logical and something you can find a way to begin applying in your own life. You're not even allowed in universities to teach the power of the human body, the autogenics healing system to self-heal. If you're in a trauma accident with compound fractures and you're in hideous pain, then take their patented plants that they modify and add poisons to and some painkilling, then fine, take it. But don't take it for more than a week because painkillers slow down the healing process and even paralyze the intestines that get rid of the peristaltic action. Don Tolman has been able to help over 800 medical doctors leave their careers as medical doctors and help people heal for real. Ever since World War II, they've been killing doctors who are perceived as a threat. In the last few months or so, the killing has happened far more rapidly. Eight of them has been Don Tolman's best friends. It doesn't show up in the media news in the United States. You have to be in other countries, but now you can go to the internet. Dr. Mitchell Gaynor, leading oncologist cancer doctor in the United States. He came out of Cornell, came to Don Tolman's three-day event, shifted and went whole foods, vibrational sounds, got into Cornell and John Hopkins, and was shot and killed in his own backyard. He's no longer a threat. This is nothing new. These kinds of killings has been going on for a very long time. Pharmacia means poison. That's why medical doctors can get a license to practice on you. They tell you they're going to practice on you. When you go to a doctor's office for the first time, you have to sign a legal document in legal terms that you promise to be patient. Patient with what? With the harm or death to you or your loved ones. They can legally diagnose you now. Gnosis means knowledge. Dia means split, divided, unknown. In course of law, in the Library of Congress, diagnosis is literally defined as we do not know, we are guessing, we told you so. If you're ignorant at the terms that they use, then your ignorance is legal consent for them to go ahead and practice on you as long as you sign and take full responsibility for any pharmaceutical drugs, surgeries, or radiation that they do to you. You came to us, you wanted it, sign here. For the last three generations of people, it's just been slammed onto the people through academic indoctrination at school and in the media so that they can be such believers. We'll believe anybody in a doctor's coat. Won't even question it. Won't even be free thinking. Here's two statements from Don Tolman. Statement number one, nine out of 10 people who go to the doctor's office do not have a chronic disease condition. They have a simple functional disorder that would clear itself completely in three to seven days if they did absolutely nothing. Did you hear that? Simple functional disorders that are discomfort, that if they got rid of discomfort and call it disease, but they don't tell you what discomfort or disease is. Statement number two, the one out of 10 who go to the doctor that actually has a chronic disease condition, 99% of the time have that disease because of the side effects that the toxic poisonous drugs that were put on them when they went to the doctor in the first place for the simple functional disease. They created the disease. 
A healthy nation means a bankrupt pharmaceutical medical industry. They created it. They know the poisons. They've tested on people, on monkeys. They put it in soda pops. They put it into packaged foods. They put it into animals by injecting them, and they promote murdering animals, slicing them up, eating their dead bodies. It's so healthy, that's where you get your protein. If you don't eat dead animals, where are you going to get your protein? What a scam. The word protein comes from proteos, which means first source. There is only one first source of proteins, plants. The only healthy proteins is plants. Every plant on Earth has all 200,000 identifiable proteins in different concentrations. Grass has the highest usable proteins for muscle strength than any other protein on planet Earth. We need to find out what's going on. Who is funding this dangerous information? What resources are available? And what are they after? This is pretty cool. Now we start getting into foods and maybe some solutions. If it looks like the heart and has four chambers, just like the heart has four chambers, then it's good for the heart. It's so interesting. The tomato, you cut it, it has four chambers. The top of it has five, has a five-pointed leaf, and we stand in a five-pointed star. All of the fruits botanically come from the pattern of a five-pointed star. And that's why they were so considered to be the healthiest, most powerful foods on the face of the earth. The, root, the word fruit in the Hebraic and Aramaic language was boaz, which means to add splendor and life. Joachim is a vegetable and means to strengthen. Fruits and vegetables were your medicines. They call some fruits nuts if they are the fruit of the, of the nut trees. Seeds were the fruit of the grasses, good for the heart. Anything that comes in a head is good for your head. <laughs> Cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, they come in heads. They are some of the best foods for the brain and clearing brain cancerous tumors. Look at celery. Celery looks like a bone, snaps like a bone, and now they know for a fact it's absolute bone food. It targets the bones. It has 21% plant sodium. Your bones have to store at all times a minimum of 21% sodium. Is that a coincidence? Probably not. If you're on a low salt diet, thanks to the pharmaceutical industry that wanted salt out of people's lives, salt was one of the most healing foods of the ancient world. Now researchers are waking up and realizing the ancient wisdoms were right. Salt is the electrolyte of all 10,000 trillion cells that construct your body. They have to have salt. If you don't have enough salt, you're going to have weak bones and be told you have to have joint replacement. Eat plant foods that look like a bone, bok choy, celery, and have enough mineral salt, mineral salt, not table salt, enough mineral, mineral salt in your diet, but not too much. They wanted salt out of people's diet so they could introduce penicillin and antibiotics. If you have enough salt, you will not have inflammation in the body. Salt clears it, but not too much salt. And it has to be mineral salt, not table salt. Potatoes are a beautiful healing food. Don't peel them. Get the minerals right beneath the skin. You can bake them, boil them, whatever you want. The particles of the potato are not picked up by the bloodstream as nutrition. They go all the way through the circulatory system to the very end to the tiniest little tubes called the lymphatic stream. Goes into there, goes through the body, and those particles bump up against metabolic waste, heavy metals, heavy metals. And other chemical poisons in the body swells up like a sponge and captures it, then takes it to the bowels and kicks it all out. Don has had people in hospitals in other countries and told they were going to have their lungs operated on. Don had them eat red skin potatoes and you need to eat one for each lung and do it every day. Squeeze fresh lemon juice on it and put a good nature made salt on it. Not pharma salt, 
or salt made by pharmaceutical companies that adds anti-caking agents and all of that crap. Eat these potatoes like this and do it every day. Every one of those people in the hospitals within four to six months are out of the hospitals and their lungs are just fine without medical treatment or surgeries. If you know of someone who has been a smoker their whole life and wants to quit and clean their lungs, this is one of the best things they can do. Two whole red potatoes, or one for each lung. Keep the skin on, put a good mineral salt on it, not too much. You can bake it, boil it, squeeze some fresh lemon juice, organic, bam. Look at the avocado. The avocado looks like the womb and the cervix of a female. For males, eating, uh, for males, eating avocado helps with sperm volume and sperm count. I love the avocado. For women, eating avocado helps with getting pregnant. That is a threat to the pharmaceutical industry. The avocado has a feminine signature. It even has one swollen seed in it, just like a woman who is pregnant or really excited. I added that. But guess what? It takes nine months to grow an avocado. Coincidence? I don't know. If a female will eat three to four avocados a week after pregnancy, the weight she gained while pregnant will come off. In ancient wisdom, every food has a masculine or feminine signature pattern, and as humans, we are both female and male, so all of these foods are good for both male and female. Citrus, you can cut it and look at it, and it looks just like the tissues of the mammary glands and it helps to shrink breast lumps and breast tumors. They start to clog and swell. They call it breast cancer now, which is a total scam. You have to have your tits cut off and blah 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 blah, Don's words. <laughs> Doctors are now coming around. Their training was wrong. You can look more into that. Bananas and figs are masculine signature foods. You can guess why. Oh, we could have some fun with that, couldn't we? <laughs> More videos coming soon. You can guess why. Even asparagus produces the volume of sperm to a huge load. That's why the porn industry started to have their stars eat asparagus, about 24 stalks a day for one week prior to the filming. And it worked. <laughs> Onions. On means brightest light. Ion is the ions of the brightest light. That's why in ancient wisdom, they ate onions. When you slice an onion, it's a circle within a circle within a circle within a circle. Onions target the functional capacities of healing and health of every cell in your body. It's amazing what these foods can do as medicines. Apples. You slice an apple inside, you're going to see a perfect five-pointed star. An apple a day keeps the doctor away in ancient wisdom and it's true. Cosmos means the word cosmos. The word cosmos, which means beautiful woman and galaxy, means mother's milk, and Gaia means mother's earth. The entire cosmos expands and contracts over time. Galaxies, solar systems, and their orbits expand and contract. Even our earth goes into an elliptical orbit around the, around the sound, and then it's spherical. I'm not sure how that makes sense. I might have to go revise that. We are a microcosm of the macrocosm. The atmosphere, the oceans, they expand and contract. Our bodies are based on that same electromagnetic frequency. Your heart, lungs, intestines, every organ, and anatomical structure and every cell in your body expands and, ex ex expands and contracts. There is only one human disease and only two causes. Wow, talk about simplifying things. In a medical book, there's 10,000, 20,000. I don't know. I like this better. You can go online and look up how many human diseases there are. Depending on the medical website you go to, they will tell you 16,000 to 27,000 diseases. Then they all admit there are 17,000 rare diseases. If you're even diagnosed, if you're even diagnosed with a rare disease, just hold on to your wallet and run. <laughs> I gotta read that again because that's so profound. There is only one human disease and only two causes. You can go online and look up how many human diseases there are. Depending on the medical website you go to, they will tell you 
between 16 and 27,000 diseases. Then they all admit there are 17,000 rare diseases. So almost every disease is rare. Hmm. If you're even di diagnosed with a rare disease, just hold on to your wallet and run. You'll be fine. They are trying to use you as a guinea pig and wanting to test drugs and procedures on you. Don Tolman has doctors and friends who will tell you that's the absolute truth. So that's coming from medical doctors who are free thinking, critical thinking, whistleblowers that are thinking about other people than just their careers. That's coming from medical doctors. The ancients taught there is only one disease. Chaos at the atomic level, which creates chaos at the molecular level, which creates chaos at the cellular level. And when enough cells are in chaos, you feel it as discomfort or dis-ease. There are only two causes of atomic, molecular, and cellular disease. Number one, you're toxic. Number two, you're deficient. You can be either or. For most people who live in developed countries or packaged foods and all the other crap is being done, they are toxic and they are deficient. The way that you get rid of that toxicity and deficiency is to clean you out. And that's what plant fibers and plant nutritional components do. Don Tolman has been able to help over 75 people scheduled for liver transplants who are told their livers have lost functioning and was dead. They drink one cup fresh squeezed lemon juice every single day. And because the liver through cellular mitosis replaces itself every 90 days, every one of those people had a 100% functional liver at the end of 90 days. This is the information we've got to follow. You can mix the juice in water, you can put it in other juices, you can do whatever you like. And I refer back to my disclaimer at the beginning of this video. As for me personally, I'm totally with Don Tallman on that. Walnuts have a left and right hemisphere. They are on top of each other, so it's like you have the cerebrums and the cerebellums. You look at a walnut, it's just like the brain and their shell is just like the cranial cap. You look at the surface of it, it looks like the neocortex on the surface of the brain with the left and right hemispheres. And now they know that's what walnuts do. They target brain function. And walnut oil, whether you get the expeller oil or you eat the whole walnut, clears out the plaque that causes senile dementia and memory loss. I've been to a number of old folks' homes, which is basically public policy and work. They are never given these kinds of diets. And they've got so many people with dementia. It's just, it's criminal. It's, but that's not going to change unless people like you and I rise up and do something because we give a damn. <sighs> anyway, side note, moving right along. Almonds look like a part of the brain called the amyg amygdala. If you look up the meaning of amygdala, it means almond. It targets the function of that part of the brain. This is not a sales pitch. This is an invitation to get the wisdom of the ancients. Grapefruit on all blood thinner medications from the phar pharmaceutical industry will say, do not eat grapefruit. I'm going to read that again. Grapefruit on all blood thinner medications from the pharmaceutical industry will say, do not eat grapefruit. Referring back to that disclaimer. Warning, do not eat grapefruit. Want to know why? Because grapefruit thins the blood better than drugs and it doesn't cause any side effects. It's true, says Don Tallman. And I personally completely agree with him. Get off the thyroxine and thyroid medi medicines. Don't fall for the crap that you're hyper and hypo. Eat mushrooms. They have the signature of the thyroid. It gets rid of all the problems. We even have four people that have their thyroids surgically removed after being on thyroid medicine for years. They ate, they stopped the medicine, even without a thyroid. They ate one cup of mushrooms. You can eat them raw, sauteed, soup, however you want it. They did that, all four of these people these were all in Australia. Within 9 to 14 months, the thyroid had grown back and had 100% percent 
functional capacity. One was so scared because her doctor said, there is something wrong with your thyroids. They were never supposed to grow back. We'll have to take it out again. And she fell for it and let them take a perfectly working thyroid out of her body once again through surgery. The other three kept their senses. And that concludes the notes. And since there's a lot of stuff in here that could be liable, I want to repeat the disclaimer. All of this is notes that I took that I'm sharing with you from Don Tolman. And I'm, I'm personally with him. Sentimentally, I'm certainly with him. I haven't done all the fact checking yet, and I did that on purpose because I want to encourage you to be free thinking people that takes responsibility into your own hands and you're safe. And I don't want you blindly following me or Don or Pharma or anybody. I want you to be free thinking, critical thinking, intelligent people. I hope you've enjoyed those notes. Please feel free to share them. Look up Don Tolman, incredible. My website too, if you wish. I've got passionfitness.info as an in information, not .com. Passionfitness.info. I've also got I've got fireyourboss.xyz, not a .com. .xyz. Fireyourboss.xyz. I've got thousands of pieces of content, and I add regularly. Right now, I'm looking up Don Tolman's website, so I can plug that in. Good old Google, D-O-N-T-O-L-M-A-N. So he's got okay, Don Tolman. DonTolman.com, D-O-N, T is in Tom, O-L is in Lima, M is in Mary, A, N is in Nancy, Don, T-O-L-M-A-N.com, DonTolman.com. Check it out, man. I wish you much health, healing, and happiness, and education, and power, and positively impact everybody around you, and do it in a way that's not going to get you arrested over it, because... Pharmacy is looking out for their interests, and they're not shy to assassinate or jail anybody. Okay? Talk to you later. Take care. And don't forget to share this video. Share, comment, like, love.